this is our cover crop of phacelia. Uh, we're out here today flailing it in to try and get on top of the docks mainly that are out here. Um, ultimately this will go into kale and calabrese and the idea of flailing it off really is getting on top of the docks but also last year we had a bit of a problem with the the amount of grass that was underneath the phacelia and that was causing some issues when we came to scuffle the brassicas once they were, once they've been planted we drilled it a little bit earlier it was drilled in mid-february so it hasn't had the best growing conditions but it had enough moisture to get going um, last year it actually came up to about waist high whereas this is only just over knee high so not quite as much biomass as before but we took out a little quadrant down there and going to weigh that up and see how much we've actually got out here this is the mulched phacelia or flailed phacelia and then we're, we're taking the we're taking that just that top couple inches of soil away and, and really mixing it in what we're really aiming to do is lift any of these little clumps of turf out and get rid of them this is first attempt at trying to roll down this this rye cover that we've got behind us this is overwintered rye we haven't got a crimper we're just going in with a flat roll and uh, just trying to crack off the stems and then the idea is that hopefully we're gonna strip till straight into the bed that's left well it looks like it's done a reasonable job should be a nice thick mat once it dies back a bit we're putting in the sweet corn now and uh, we've got one stretch of strip tilled, one stretch of power harrowed, and one stretch of uh, rolled or crimped rye which has been strip tilled. So the uh, the strips that have gone into just bare ground essentially, the sort of disked off ground, they're actually quite cloddy. Um, it's been dry so the top surface has actually stayed quite crusty. The power harrowed stuff obviously looks looks great. Um, but there's still quite a lot of moisture in the roller crimped um, strip tills. This obviously held a bit more moisture there and stopped it evaporating. Some of the clods in the strip tilled are quite large. So I'm not sure how good the seed bed will be. 